so yeah this is kind of a vlog slash what's going on in the world of YouTube and entertainment today I might make it a habit of doing this at some point during the week or as part of every vlog like do you think stands by how you live your life we are not the same I'm a fucking champion no. anyways Drake I'm trying to find you because I want to invite you to my July 15th show tomorrow free at the Greek theater it's a concert Sleepy type guy always takes his time. Soon I know you'll be changing your mind. What up, guys? How you doing? It's another vlog with me, Louisy21. But before we get out there on the streets, G Easy and Uzi are no longer out together. It's not good. It's not good. And I'm just looking here on my phone, I've seen it. On his Instagram. He's gonna be an actor now. Jeezy. Okay, good. But he said, watch out, Will Smith. Don't know if you're gonna to get to that level, but we will see. We will wait and see. But yeah, the world has gone crazy. As you saw from my other reaction video, KSI Logan Paul. All these YouTubers fighting and Fusitude, he's gone mad as well. He's gone crazy, literally. You probably heard something about that. Seeing how mad he's been going. It's manic, literally. It's a manic episode. And that, that concerns a lot of people, even his own parents. They're actually concerned for him. So yeah, that's like, what's going on in the world? And it is very warm. Once again, over 30 degrees. Wait, I've got a thermostat here, guys. Therm no, it me measures temperature. Thermometer, and it says 40 degrees under here, under here, under this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get into today, guys. I'm not too sure. But that noise, whoever's doing that, is really annoying me. You can probably hear it. It's like someone cutting wood or something. Or a tree or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to end this bit here. And then we're going to get out on the streets a bit later today. I'll check in with you soon. Take it easy fam. And enjoy the rest of this vlog. Peace. <laughs> The elusive green man, guys. I like the green man. I love a good, a German whip is what I call that. It is hot out here. Just 
left the camera with my assistant on, as, as they're called, camera assistant, whatever, whatever. Cam cameraman, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just cruising around the park and vlogging to you guys. But like I said, there's a few talking points. Maybe the fleecy tube situation. He's gone through like a manic episode, let's just say. Like through the through this whole Drake obsession. Like basically on the 15th, I think it was of July, he had he organised like a concert for all his like fans and subscribers, and he promised that Drake would be there, and he made like a few videos building up to it, asking Drake to be there, like in the video. That's how you know Drake's in LA. Hey Drake, OVO! Yo, I'm trying to look like you dog, is it working? Nah, I'm not, but some girls do call me Champagne Poppy. Some girls do call me Habibi. I got a girlfriend though, so it don't matter. Sorry, ladies. The king is back! Anyways, Drake, I'm trying to find you because I want to invite you to my July 15th show tomorrow, free at the Greek Theater. It's a concert to celebrate love after the World Cup. I need your energy, Drake. This is energy! Energy! Got a lot of energy! Got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy! Trying to take away from an Arab! Whoa! Okay, sorry! Sorry! Yo, Drake. I literally look like a crazy person right now because I'm outside of the place that you're at. Don't ask me how I found it, bruh. God put me here among- I think it was a tweet. And then from there, everyone just started, um, gathering this concert, believing Drake would be there, but he wasn't, so it was like a, a big, uh, big mess, really, and then there's him after, like, shouting at all his fans, trying to justify why Drake wasn't there, and then, because there was, like, before that, there was, like, a, a bomb threat from, at the actual event, which is why it was cancelled, but Drake didn't show up when it was live that is so it's just like it was a fake thing that he invented he didn't actually speak to drake that's the thing so out of nowhere he just suddenly announced that drake was going to be there but he wasn't so unless you've actually organized it what's the point saying that that was the whole issue and then there's a number of like different interviews he's been on where he's gone mad about the same issues in relation to this event it's called, it's called Love Arrives, Hate Dies, but it doesn't seem to be the case, because all he's doing is shouting at everyone. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Guys singing the rigor. Guys feeling happy in the heat. <laughs> oh, I was taking out my train of thought. So yeah, organising an event, claims Drake's gonna be there when he's not, and saying he's met him, and all he did was make eye contact with him at an event, he didn't actually speak to him directly, so why would you even say that? That's the thing. And then, like the interview I've shown, shown a clip at the beginning, I'll show more of it here. Why what it makes it different for us to do it in real life? Because I don't agree with what anything you said. What did I do before? I DM'd you. I don't agree with anything you do, anything you stand by, how you live your life. We are not the same. I'm a fucking That's champion. Fine. No, You're beta yeah. as fuck. I'm yeah. an alpha. I'm a lion. No, I, you... oh, that, oh, that's a yikes from me on that one. And you're a yikes from me on that one. I love you on my head out. If you want to talk to me about being on the RV, bro, you got my number, right? Uh, no, I hope in every single stream for the rest of your life, your audience reminds you how much of a bitch you look like tonight. I'm sure they will, thank you. You will. Yach! <laughs> how many times I called him a bitch, flipped him off, told him he's a little sucker in real life, and he's a bitch who acts on the internet, and I'll give you guys, like, put up a thing, I'll throw party in LA and throw a pizza party for you guys. I'll order that many pizzas. And I'll right, this little Please bitch. don't roast me about this in the chat forever. Bro, your life is ruined.
Please, God. Don't mess with somebody trying to spread positivity and love. Right, 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 right. I love that sentence, say it again, please! He's just gone mad at Sam Pepper, another YouTuber who's been at the event. Funny enough, he was the guy that was involved with the bomb threat at the event. The bomb scare, that is. Like, he was blamed, basically. Put in the back of a police van for three hours. I don't know why I'm laughing, it's just a crazy situation. And, and the reaction is just... His reaction in the video is just beyond belief. It's not normal. It's really not normal for someone to react like that. He's admitted he's got bipolar in the past and some sort of depression and stuff like that. But this is beyond that, this is just crazy. It's manic, literally. And yeah, he was very popular and he is. But no, nah, not for me. You can't be doing that. You can't be claiming you're the best, you know. Some of the, the things he said are just ludicrous. And that's that's enough on that really. Enough on that issue. It's just it's been all over the YouTube. Everyone's talking about it. So many different podcasts that he's been on as well. So yeah, it's just a talking point. I can't want to end it there because it's not worth it's not worth any more than this time. I've given it too much time already. See you in a bit. Let's take a wander around this park once again. One of my local, one of my favourites. So enjoy Ferry Park. Let's go. 500 meters. Oh, what a feeling! Yeah, guys, so the Halsey GEZ issue, it's a big one because she's saying he cheated with Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato now overdosed, like I said, and GEZ dyed his hair as well. He's going for the full transformation from good guy to bad. I don't, I don't know. I still respect him, but I don't know what went on. It's, it's all messed up. But yeah, I just. I hope he hasn't betrayed her because, geez, I was a big fan of yours. I'm still trying to be, so we'll see where it goes from here. I don't know. I'm a fanboy. We admitted it before.
nice breeze out here. It's a bit cooler in the breeze. It's good, it's good. I'm in the middle of this field basically. It's because I like this field. And it's nice to be outdoors in this heat for once. So yeah, this is kind of a vlog slash what's going on in the world of YouTube and entertainment today. Um, I might make it a habit of doing this at some point during the week or as part of every vlog, like during the vlog, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we're out here in the sun, getting a little time lapse of this field while I'm speaking to you guys. Nothing more to say on the GEZ Halsey breakup. I, I don't think it's all lost because Halsey still still likes him. I don't know how he feels about her still, but they keep their Instagrams are like both acting like nothing happened, kind of. Like you get little promotional pictures of of their respective like moments on tour, you know, their moments together on tour as well. Like they've toured a lot, and that can take a toll on two people, I guess. I guess I don't know. There's more to it. Who's cheating? I don't know. Just hope it's not G. I hope it's not either of them, to be honest. I hope they just had an argument, they'll get over it, hopefully. Or just not, as long as there's no hate there. You know, they can just say sorry and then move on. Move on. Or not. I don't know. Time can, can work or it won't. I have a widow or it won't. It will make a difference. I don't know. What I meant to say is time will tell. Time will tell. And we'll see. But I still listen to his music. You know, it's still good. Doesn't change that. It's still a legend. But this has kind of tainted him a bit. And he's gone for the hair colour change. Maybe he's changing as well as a person. For better or worse, I don't know. I've not been... I'm not, I'm not that famous. I'm not famous. I wouldn't know where to start in that sense. So I, I can't speak for him in that sense. But yeah, that's my take on it. Make what you will. Leave a comment about the issues. Or even about Fusi Tube. That's a stupid issue. That's not even as... That's just more worrying in a different way. Different type of thing going on there. But that is the world we live in. We live in in a society. It's a meme apparently. We live in a society. Yeah, no shit. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end my little rant here. Take it easy guys and I will see you on the next video of course. Stay hydrated, enjoy the weather at the same time. Do what you love. Achieve your goals, achieve your dreams or work towards them. You'll get there one day. Or you just end up trying and failing or but don't fail to try because if you try then at least you know you tried like with YouTube you know, I'm enjoying it anyway so as long as you enjoy what you're doing that's it that is it just enjoy it don't worry about the money or the other stuff take it easy fam please Achieve your goals, do what you love. I've already signed off, what am I doing? Peace out guys. You may think he's a sleepy type guy Always takes his time Soon I know you'll be changing your mind